In this video, I'm going to explain how each shop works, many different ways to kill the shopkeeper in each shop, and what the benefits and downsides of doing that are. I will talk about the classic shop, the 8 secret shops behind cracked walls, and the super secret shops. Let's start off with the classic shop. This one appears on every level, and always has 3 items, if you're playing Cadence. The later the floor, the better the items in the shop. For zone 1, you have item tiers 1, 2, 3 per each floor respectively. For all the later zones, the tier of items is increased by 1. For any zone above zone 1, the tiers would be 2, 3, 4. So it's more often than not worth it to check the shop on the last floor per zone. Occasionally a locked shop spawns, where it does not have a door, but has a cracked wall instead. You can dig or bomb your way in. The locked shop often has better items and is worth checking out. The shopkeeper has 9 health, and is the most difficult shopkeeper to kill, as he usually kills you in one hit. He drops the crown of greed upon death, moves in every direction, every beat, and can attack on every move. Killing him will allow you to grab the items he was selling for free, but he will not spawn again in later levels and there will be no more items in the shop. After killing him, a ghost shopkeeper will spawn once in a later level, chasing you down, trying to kill you. The ghost shopkeeper moves just like the regular one, but can also move through walls and dies in one hit. The shopkeeper deals 10 hearts of damage, the ghost shopkeeper deals 5. If you have the quartz armor, he will only deal 1 heart of damage per attack. So how do you kill this guy? There are plenty of ways and you can always get creative, but let's talk about the basics and the most used ways. First you have to aggro him either by throwing a weapon at him, such as a dagger, a spear or a shuriken, or using a bomb or a spell. The most common way to kill the shopkeeper is like this. You will need to have at least two bombs. As each bomb deals four damage, you can use two bombs for eight damage and attack him once for the final ninth heart of damage. So place two bombs next to him, then walk two steps up. The first bomb will explode, leaving him at five health. He will then get aggressive and move towards you. Then you attack him at the same time as the second bomb explodes, dealing 4 damage from the bomb and 1 or more from your attack, killing him before he can attack you. If you have the blast helm, you will have to bomb 2 times while next to him, then attack. The blast helm gives you invincibility during the explosion, so he can't kill you if you just bomb near him. The ring of war or a flail provide an easy way to kill him as well with the knockback. He will not be able to attack you, so after aggroing, you can just repeatedly hit and bait him towards you once he gets knocked back. Remember, you can always shield, you can freeze or use the earth spell fireballs. Or like I said, get creative. Sometimes you can force the shopkeeper to leave the shop without killing him, which will allow you to grab the items for free, but the shopkeeper will still spawn in later levels. In order to do so, you can either use the Fear Scroll, Boots of Lunging, or bait the Red Dragon to fireball the shopkeeper, getting him to run away. The Ring of Shadows will also allow you to steal from the shop. The most common use strategy for stealing from the shop is to aggro the shopkeeper and then when he's chasing you, you lure him down to a trapdoor. Or trap him behind some walls so that he can't get to you while you pick up the items. There is a small chance that the shopkeeper will spawn as the monstrous version. The monstrous shopkeeper will attack you immediately, but is easier to kill as it teleports away after taking a hit. Does not attack you back, deals less damage and has less health. Killing the monstrous shopkeeper will not prevent the classic shopkeeper from spawning in the next levels, so it's perfectly fine to kill him and grab the items without any issues. 
You can recognize Demetrius' shopkeeper by the different color walls of the shop, his red eyes and horrible singing.